Welcome to the Carr and Seguin Show, hosted by Devin Carr and Paul Seguin, where two Michiganders dive into real estate, outdoors, community building, and everything in between. Everything in between. That's what I said last time. <laughs> <laughs> it's so catchy. Just can't help but uh, say something. Uh, what's up, man? Welcome uh, for another show. Right. What's going 94. On? Episode 94, y'all. Crushing it. Crushing it. <laughs> I was actually just trying to find if we have any review. Do you know if we have any reviews on our podcast, Johnny? Or where do you find it? I do not know. I'll just look at that from YouTube or oh. from your other platforms, listening platforms. Apple. Uh, I have not looked at that. I'd have to look at that. I'm always curious how to find. Yes. Five five reviews. On on uh, iTunes? Apple. Do we? Yeah. What do they say? Let's see. They're five stars? Yeah. Dude. We're looking. Five more and you get an Airbnb. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, it says five out of five, five ratings, customer reviews. Well, anyone uh, listening, uh, sorry for the little slow start uh, to the show. Um, you know, but I'm going to put a plug right now. If you are... A, a regular listener. Uh, I don't care if you're family, if you're friends, if you live in Venezuela or Brazil listening to this show. Uh, I hope you are, actually. That'd be very fantastic. Reach out to us. I'd love to know uh, why you listen to our show. Um, <laughs> but leave us a review. If you guys know how to do that on Apple Podcasts, on Facebook, on YouTube, especially YouTube, Look up the Car and Sequin Show. You'll find us on there. All of our videos are posted on there weekly. But leave us a review. It helps, obviously. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the alert button so you get alerted every time we upload a new show. I mean, I would love for 2023 for us to really grow uh, on YouTube. YouTube, from my understanding, if you are in business uh, of any sort, you better get your butt on YouTube. Like, it is the new lead gen source just making videos and they just say just hit that record button and just talk i believe it i know rob's been yelling at telling me this for years is like dude (laughs) just record videos record videos record videos people just want to see who you are they want to hear you talk and and just it doesn't always have to be obviously business but i don't know my goal is to do a lot of just recording uh but Since we've already started this beautiful show, help us out. If you love listening and watching, if you're you're trying to find them. How long do you think it takes? I gave them. I'd love to read them. I just just gave us five stars. Well, good. (laughs) But it's still, nothing's changed. I'm trying to figure out how long. It takes to show? It takes to show. Could you, you couldn't read them to see what they say? I was listening to um, Bear Grease. I'm like addicted to Clay Newcomb's show right now. I love how he's got the like documentary format kind of podcast. I mean, obviously, he's got meat eater money to spend in in, tra- in travel <laughs> with, uh, which uh, we don't yet. Um, but anyways, what we wanted to do on this week's show is we wanted to, uh, uh, I know this is our second drop for the year, technically. Um, well, no, it's a couple shows in. Anyways, yeah. regardless, whatever. We want to do a little recap, though, on just some year, the moments this past year. Um, do you have a favorite guest that we had on or a show? One that just pops in your mind right now? I don't, um, you know, all of our guests are so <laughs> special and near and dear to our heart. Yes. That I don't think I could say. Who's your favorite? Who my favorite is. Okay. Way to play that card. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> you know, I would say, I mean, Jack Ford 
was a legend. Yeah, so that was towards was, the very end of last year. Yeah. But we'll we'll give him we'll give him we'll that give, uh it was right on the, the curve. We'll give him a little curve on that. But yeah, no, that was awesome. Jack uh despite my I've got I've dog Yeah, that's right. <laughs> See? This is the reminiscence. That's right. You yeah. had you had a family member test positive. Yep. And uh because you're such a caring, loving guy. Um I went out to my car. You went out to the truck. And, yeah. Uh because you literally got the text message while we were in the studio. Just before Jack got here. Yeah. You're like, you. I remember that too. You're like, dude, uh, they just tested positive for COVID. And I was just with him all weekend. <laughs> Yay. Uh, but uh, no, that was, he. yeah, he was great. Um, I've dived into his book a little bit because uh, I got his book from him. Yep. Yeah. It's a great book. It is. He did a great job. I love the boat, man. Mm-hmm. Just all done up. Like, yep. dude, I would love, hopefully one day when I'm just randomly walking down one of the rivers up north and just see that boat from like a, a mile away and be like, Jack, it's Paul. I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> and he'd be like, paddle faster. <laughs> Turn away. Go downstream. <laughs> uh, no, he was great. Um, do you in, have a favorite? Do I have a favorite? Mm-hmm. I won't. I won't be afraid to say who the favorite was. Let's. Let me take. I'm trying to remember all of our wonderful guests we had on. Well, I think the guys from Venture All Train are a lot of fun. Yeah, they're right? they're always yeah. a, they're always a ball to to talk with. A lot of personality, and I loved a lot of uh, Trappers' stories. Oh yeah, right, those are good. Yeah. Trapper. You know, I think, I mean, there's a couple. I don't think I have a favorite. Like, Mike Schultz was a good one. Yeah. That was just really cool to hear his story. Um, you know, Tim Hooker is always good to have on. I think he's always just fun to chat with yep. about finance stuff. Um, he just kind of always comes top of mind. We've had him on four times or, or more, maybe five times in the in the in just even the history of our show. Uh, he's always a good uh, guy that wants to come on and just chat. So obviously he gets a little promo there. Um, yeah, those are interesting ones just because it it kind of starts off from looking back at what he said compared to where it's at now. Which right? is wild how right. our shows, and I can't remember the very details, but I, I think you know what I'm talking about where when we recorded with him, like it was February. Right. And then we got back on like a couple months later and it was like in that exact time frame, like markets like... Right. It's like, are they listening to us? Right, yeah. <laughs> Were the indicators to tip them off? Uh, and no, there is no insider trading. Okay. Just just look a different direction, like Jeff Jeffrey Epstein. Okay, just look the other way. Okay, JP Morgan. Yeah, you know, Schultz's was good. Trapper was, was obviously interesting <laughs> with uh, <laughs> trapping moles and the the bird netting uh brian Kaz, yeah he's he was great joined us from a a, a, a lobby of mcdonald's right yep. <laughs> yep. which looked like a very nice mcdonald's it did look like a nice McDonald's. Yeah, i mean it had stuffed fish on the wall i mean like freaking i wish our a fancy one i know i wish our mcdonald's around here looked like that but uh no he was cool to have on um I mean, shoot, any dude who was on the Meteor show and he was on our show kind of kind of felt like we we, right. uh, we, we, made, we made something work. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing okay. Well, we're doing okay because of Devin Carr. Well. Yeah, yeah. The voice. Moth Bear guys, Tyler and John. They were that was a, a good one. Yeah. They're still they're still going. They still got the They make calls. some dang good that coffee. That was really good coffee. Dang good coffee. Yeah, you guys want to see, if you're in the mood for trying some new coffee this year, uh you got to go hit up the Moth Bear guys. Um where's where's their show notes here? Uh they're at yeah, mothbear.com. M O T H B E A R.com. Go look it up. Uh right there on their website you can buy some coffee. Hook those guys up. Uh, Cause that was amazing coffee. Uh, I'm actually I should do that. I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna buy some more coffee for those guys. Support the Didymo. 
It was good. Was it last year or was it the year before when you guys had the guys on where you can try out their fishing rods and take them right out behind there and, and throw them? That was that was Schultz. Yeah, that's Schultz. Yeah. He's got that's the yeah. Right. He's got the, the shop river, right, right on here yeah. on River, yeah. right in downtown. Yeah, because that was very interesting. Depot town, Ipsy. Yep. Yeah, and they're starting all their yeah fly tying stuff too. Bar flies. Yeah. Oh, they, they started that back up. Yep. Where you can yeah. go there and do that. That that, yeah. that was excellent. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Schultz, I think, is doing the very first one. I think it's actually uh, this next week is the first one for bar flies. They have other. They have, I think, their first time fly tire. They just had one last week. Or Did they? Yeah, let's give them a little pluggy here. But they got that big thing we talked about. Did we talked about it last show. Mm-hmm. The, the, the bobbin hood. I think it was called. That they're putting on. Yeah, that huge with all big name fly tires and everything. That's an excellent name, bobbin hood. It was a good hit. I mean, hit. Markets is the names that they come up with and everything. They do a just a fantastic job. Heck yeah! Dude. Well, he's got on here. Oh, they need to update the site, fellas. Still showing the demo days for June of last year. You got on their website? Yeah, but now they're they're bar flies. They post. I know he keeps always. I always get their emails, but we we need to get hooked up with Mike. We're supposed to. Uh, we're supposed to have his brother on, right? So Schultzies, if you're if you listen to this one, we need to connect back up with uh, Devin here, because um, his brother does him and his brother do the skate sharpening. The skate sharpening, yeah. So we got to get him on 2023. Uh, like Johnny said, the Ventral All Terrain guys, Darius, uh, Brian are always really cool to have on, doing some good stuff out there outdoors. Yeah, it's bobbing the hood. Bob in the hood. Bob in. Bob in. Like Bobbin. Bobby? Bobbin. Bobby Boucher. Bobby Boucher. <laughs> Bob, Bobby Boucher's coming? My mama say it. My mama say it. Classic. Football's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Montana. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Montana, you moron. <laughs> I said Joe Montano. <laughs> <laughs> well, January 11th, Barfly is starting. Doors open at 6.30. Class begin at 7.05. Schultz the first one, right? The man himself, I believe. I'm right. So you go to the bar and tie one on, right? <laughs> yeah, you go. It's right <laughs> there. Sidetrack bar and grill. Sidetrack. That's it right there. It's a fabulous place. Great food. Great beverages. Yep. January 11th. Right in Depot Town of Ypsilanti. Sub 40 f- finesse small mouth with Schultze. Yeah, it's... And he he's now has that whole building, right? He does have the whole building. Yeah. They got the conventional side, fly tying, you know, your gear. Gear. Conventional, fly tying, clothing, and then rods and stuff. I love the clothing. I mean, the De- Devin still sporting all of his good pickups from the day, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> you still get you still get some companies throwing you some stuff. No, I would have just stayed nope. in the game just for the clothes. No, <laughs> I didn't need any more clothes. So many jackets. I know. Now Becca, that I don't wear them, Becca every day, tells it's me like, that you own the, the closet. I do. Own the <laughs> and about three percent of it fits. <laughs> Hey, I'm but there. One of, one I'm of there these with days. You. One of these days. <laughs> Funny Shoot. about New Year's. I was talking to a buddy that he's been going to the gym. He goes for like around one, just for like an hour, and he, it's been fine. And he said just recently, all of a sudden, the gym is packed all the time. <laughs> yeah, I saw someone he's post. Like, I need another month. <laughs> all these people need to leave. Yeah, <laughs> someone exactly posted like the same thing on my feed. They're like, uh, a week ago there was nobody here, and then now because it's the freaking New Year, I can't even find a parking spot. Yep. <laughs> and then just wait, like you know, four weeks later, right? It'll be back to normal. Unfortunately, not not. Uh, you know, praising that, but right. <laughs> just the truth. Yeah, which is crazy. My daughter works at Big Apple Bagels, and she said the number of people 
that come in their regulars, they're not seeing. No way. And they said that usually January, February, right? Just people that are, hey, we're going to do this cut for a little back. bit and they'll all be back. <laughs> yep. Oh my it's gosh. just a matter of waiting for them. <laughs> it's a matter of time. That's funny. I feel like so far I've, I, I haven't done any working. I haven't worked out once. And I feel great. Why would you change it? I'm not, I don't, I mean, I need to. <laughs> I had a Mountain Dew today, and I haven't had one in like two weeks. I'm like, oh man! You know, we went shopping. I can feel it the other day for some home stuff, and I was like, man, I could use a pop right now. And I haven't had a Mountain Dew, and I like Mountain Dew a lot. And I was checking out in the fridge, grabbed a Mountain Dew, got in the car, opened it up, started drinking it. And I was like, God, this does not taste good. <laughs> and I looked. There's no sugar. It was, was a like, diet? No, it was just no sugar. Oh, just a zero? Zero sugar. I was oh, like, oh, my God. I didn't even know they made this. It's, <laughs> was, it's horrible. I was so disappointed. It's horrible. <laughs> oh, man. Nothing like just ruining your, your mental taste buds of like, I'm about to just slug back a nice little yeah, Mountain Dew. I haven't had one <laughs> in, I couldn't tell you how long, and then I tasted it, and I was like, God, they changed something? <laughs> this doesn't taste right. And I looked, and I was like, Oh shit! Ah. <laughs> that was new do. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I just made that up. Like oh. they, had new, they had new Coke. I just thought new do. Well, they, they even have like that one where it's like real sugar Mountain Dew. Yeah, in the white throwback cans. Yeah, in the yeah. right throwback cans. That's what I'm talking about. It is good. Yeah, I I like for a while the Code Red. Code yep. Red was mm-hmm. good too. When I went to Taco Bell. Yep. Oh, dude. Between Code Red and Baja Blast. Baja Blast, oh, baby. Yeah. With a nice little crunch wrap supreme. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, that's it right there. Those were the days. I know. I've cut back on pop, and then there's just moments where I'm just like, dude, it just craving. Like there's nothing better than you know where I get where it gets me is pizza. Like I gotta have a pop mm-hmm. to just wash down all that freaking grease. Um tacos. It's hard for me not to have a pop mm-hmm. with that. I mean, it's really the only, but I, I like have Mexican food all the time. So, so you I'm, drink I'm, pop, I'm, I'm all, pop the all the time. Why not? I don't know. It's weird when I don't drink it for a while and then I have one, like it's just like, oh, that tastes good. I know it tastes good, but you almost like you, you kind of feel it. Like you just like the caffeine, just like the freaking nastiness. of Oh it, yeah. You know, <laughs> Like, I had a you like you just know you had a pop. It's like when you have Taco Bell or White Castle. It's like this See, it's is more this White is Castle for me. Wonderful Taco, Taco Bell. I don't have any problems and after. Right? It's like oh, I'm good. I, that's all fast food for me, but it tastes good. But I see, and I always get the Crunchwrap Supreme Black Bean with Chipotle sauce. So it, it pushes out that fake meat. We we don't have enough time in the show for me to go down what I order. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. So, uh, Moth Bear, the Trout Camp Coffee. Right. Yeah. Is that what you said? Trout Camp. Is that what it's called? No, I, that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. I liked their uh, the Hex Cat. Was it the Hex Hatch? With the did that one have the hazelnut? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was good. That was good. It's on sale right now, folks. Thirteen bucks, twelve ounce package. You can get the Variety Club uh, pack uh, for forty two bucks. Get it while it's hot. Get it while it's hot. Look like they're they're in stock. Yep, it's on sale. Short bus dairies. I would have to say one of the highlights of twenty two was when you and Johnny. Decide to team up and cheat <laughs> in trivia. That was definitely one of my one of my highlights. Look at he's favorite time. He is not dropping this. Nope. And in the, I think I, I have I, to remind you that he is the one that just couldn't count. It was a team effort. It's, a damn, right? it's actually a damn shame. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
That was a, a well-oiled plan that we had, though, Devin. I know. Right, keep you I, out of the winner's seat. But I don't even know what plan this was. I wasn't aware of a plan. We, we had a hard time beating you even with cheating. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You did smoke us the last trivia. Big time. The Christmas... Uh, I don't think it was a smoke. It was only by a couple of points. It was like four points. I don't think You so. pulled away from the Elf movie. I got like nothing on that one. And you got 100%. That's where it was. So did you go back home and watch that to make sure you got warmed up on it? No. God, I did. Actually, did you? <laughs> I did, yeah. I did. <laughs> I did. Uh, no, we continued to watch The Grinch uh, in uh, the Christmas Chronicles in more Grinch. They, like, loved Grinch this season. Like, all the, you know, there's, like, you know, there's the Jim Carrey Grinch. Mm-hmm. There's the 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 newer animated Grinch. Yeah, this one Mac likes. The, the kids love that one, and it's kind of, kind of cute. It's okay. It's all right. And then there's the original Grinch. I mean, we watched new, all three of them like at least multiple times per movie. I don't know what it was. They just were on the Grinch this year for some reason. Um, and Christmas Chronicles. They love. The Christmas Chronicles. We don't have Netflix anymore, but that was a good one. It's good. I liked it. Yeah, it is good. It's a good show. I'm mean, good movies. Good movies. Um Yeah. Plan to cheat. Bull crap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not on a guest scenario, but on a favorite spot. I have to say I really enjoyed cheating. The uh <laughs> the hot tub hard boiled <laughs> eggs. <laughs> That's just a classic. <laughs> it's just so something so creepy. <laughs> More for the record. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There it is. The uh, what was the name on it? I thought I saw it. Oh, devil squirrels and sandwich bags. <laughs> uh, the beard kid, NASCAR and beer records. The good old days. Tri- oh, the good old days. I got in trouble for that one. <laughs> Oh, those are the good old days, huh? Uh huh. I see. I see where you always want to go back to. Taste of Poland, man. I was. We were just talking about this, uh, literally on Monday night. So Carl's cabin still has not brought back the Polish platter, which is just a joke. And the 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 waitress was fabulous, but she had the nerve to say that. <laughs> The reason they haven't brought it back is because they lost their pierogi lady. I said, ma'am, if you need me to make pierogies so that you can bring back the Polish platter. Well, maybe it's. Sign me up. Maybe it's the way she I saw them. on Facebook today, there's this pierogi little maker. You just put the freaking little, what if, the little casing in it. You put you your ingredients that, and you spin it and boom. What if it's not as good? You know, it, it, what uh, if it ruins the platter? No. And then your forever happy memory goes to, it's just not the same. But that conversation, because Jess hates every time we go there, she's like, are you going you really to bring it up? Are you going to bring it up again? I'm like, <laughs> yes, I am, because I want answers. I mean, I think I even, we were sitting there once and we were on a date night and one guy overheard us. And he's like, I know that was the best dish, man. I'm like, <laughs> obviously it's a fan favorite. Why are we not bringing this back? You need to tell your freaking chef back there to stop being all selfish and give the demands of the clients. No, we were talking about um, planning trips this coming year. And the first one that came to my mind was Legs In. I said, you know, we got to go to our favorite spot. Favorite spot. I mean, Legs In already is, they already, I think they already announced, I think it was uh, May 10th, their opening day. Yeah, I didn't, I just looked at that a little while ago. I didn't realize, realize that they were seasonal. Oh, yeah. yeah I oh, mean, yeah. dude, they're, they're way up in Cross Village. They would be, uh, they'd be, losing money left and right if they had to stay open during the winter. Shoot, I don't even know if I would even want to drive on that tiny road <laughs> trying to squeeze between cars <laughs> on a uh, little snowpack. So that'd, that'd be dicey. I mean, you could just go around too, but um, no, no, it doesn't say. I thought it 
I thought it said it just says C in 2023. Typically, they're, oh, June 10th. Yeah, they're only June 10th to October 23rd. Is uh, Yeah, so typically we will we'll, we'll go on a trip right there in June, right when it opens. And then in October, right when it closes. Two trips. Last year only did one, though. But, oh, it's so good. <laughs> My brother loves that place. He goes every year, too. Dude, it's fabulous. Mm-mm-mm. Just even looking at pictures. It's getting me hungry right now. It's getting me hungry. No, so it was a great year. 2022, we uh, we dropped some really good shows. We had a lot of good guests on. I think definitely excited for 2023. We got our 100th episode coming up that we are still planning. Stay tuned for that. It is one you're going to not want to miss. It's going to be big time, y'all. Fresh year. I mean... Apple Podcasts ain't going to be able to stream this sucker. It's that big. They're going to have to bring Joe Rogan in to keep this one from going. I don't know where. What? (laughs) (laughs) I am so confused. (laughs) It's called the hook, line, and sinker. I like it. I like it. Positivity. 2023. Keep them calling. Positivity. Nope. We're going to have some great guests. We may bring back a couple people. Because there's always good to bring back some good ones. Um, a little trivia. Yeah, I love the trivia. Mm-hmm. It's fun. We got to get the boards. Yes. I mean, I think it only makes it fair. You know? And a scorekeeper. Yeah. <laughs> get What was that? You just need to f- An abacus. Your- we got to get an abacus. Yeah. An abacus. Ding, ding. ding. Yeah, we need some sound. Yeah, we we need we're. I just put you to work. You need some more sound effects for our trivia games. I'll write that down. All right. So when you got when you're when you're not so busy and some free time here at Wayne Media, uh, which I think that you have a lot of. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sure Rob keeps you pretty dang busy. That he does. Yes, he does. No, so thank you know what? Thank you, Johnny, uh, for for another fabulous year behind the window. Uh, mm-hmm. I know you'd probably kill me if I picked up one of these cameras and turned it around to show your face to the world. Um, would you kill me if I did that? Yes. Because then it would screw up do the not, positioning, do wouldn't not, it? Yeah, it screwed Touch my the p- equipment. I know. Well, I'm tempted. Yeah, I'm looking we at know. I'm looking at these know. 500 cameras in my face. You know what? I'll put a smiling face on this episode. I'll stand in front of there and I'll cut it in. There you go. All right. There you go. Take a good picture of yourself. Yep. Put it up right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Johnny. Behind the window engineer. He makes it all happen. Thank you, Johnny. For a fabulous year, hopefully to another one. You're not going anywhere, are you? No, I loved and I love doing your guys' show. Thank you very we much. We are you're not we're you're your, we are your favorite, right? You guys are my favorite. Just admit it. It's it's a good time sitting down with you guys. I get to interject some stuff in that. Are I, we the only one that lets you interject? I, I do very little on anything else on any yeah, other I shows. Can. Very mm-hmm. little. But I I, I like I the love voice being behind the mirror. <laughs> I think right. it, I, I don't know if, if the our audience likes it, but I love just that silent it's like God <laughs> talking to you. <laughs> Paul, you make no sense. Right. Devin, slap him. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Paul. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, high five to another year, bro. Boom. Let's go to many more. All right, well, hey, yeah, a little recap. Hopefully that was enjoyable. Maybe uh, you, you yourself have some favorite episodes. Uh, like I said, on the comments below. Subscribe, hit the alert button, connect, right? Comment, tell us what was your favorite uh, episode, guest, moment, stupid thing I said, whatever. Or hey, maybe you got some recommendations. Maybe you know some people, right? That you want to have on the we're show. Always asking, yeah, always. we're always looking for uh, wonderful stories. I mean, it doesn't have to be something crazy, guys. I mean, if someone's starting a new business. Uh, someone's whatever. Um, you know, I'd love to, we're, we got a few people in the works. We're hoping to get Matt Holmes back on to talk about bees. bees yep. It's interesting. I, I mean, I get blown away every time I, I 
learn more about yeah with bees it's insane what those things do i mean it's insane what moles do right maybe we should have more animal people on yeah, see, there you, there go. you go. I'm going to go off on the wild tangent of just bringing animal people in. There you go. We should. Okay. We should bring some deer people in. Is there any, like, big known deer? Um, I'll well, just call it freaking DNR. Bring some DNR people in. Forestry people. Do you want them to have your name and phone number? Yeah. <laughs> I have nothing to hide. How about you, Devin, with your, you know, Vast fishing experience in the past. Don't you have like a super great fish taxidermist? No. No? Really? I was catch and release. Oh, you're always catch and release? Never caught like the, the king that you wanted to keep? No. Only in Alaska we caught and killed. I mean, I kill walleye. Yeah. But I don't. Good eating. Don't, yeah. Very good for, eating. For food. I mean, I would say there's, you have, there's you have tons wa- of good replica people. I mean, they even last a lot longer than skins. Really? Different amounts. But. You got you got any walleye in your freezer? When, when am I coming over? No. When am I coming over, man? No. Huh? Got three pieces. <laughs> three. Saving them just for me. <laughs> right? If you're saving yeah, them for me. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> That's my question. I know. <laughs> <laughs> No, walleye is really good eating. It is. Yeah, that is good stuff. That is the best. That's where I grew up. I went to all my dad. Down rigging, trolling, jigging. Your favorite. Super. Fabulous time. <laughs> no, it is. It's good. It's a good fight. I, lo- I love the fight they, they give. Mm-hmm. They're good fight they are good reeling fight. fish, man. They are. And then you finally land them in their keepers, and they're great eating. They good are. fillets. Yep. They're just good fish. I like pike too. Pike's a lot great. of people don't like them because they're so just glad, you know, and they're bony. Mm-hmm. I get it. So what? Friend, cut them out, dude. Don't be a pansy. <laughs> perch. I'm not gonna perch, comment on that because I don't like chicken on the bone for that reason. Yeah, panfish though, man. You can just go out there and bloop, bloop, bloop. oh yeah, <laughs> fry them up. Let's go, oh, man. I need to do that. We want. We should go ice fishing. Hey, Johnny, will you bring the uh, podcast to the ice fishing? Maybe from my Apple device. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Rob he needs to give get us the mobile station, and we're gonna go do it on the ice. All, right, I'll All the cameras. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got a shanty, right? We can do it in the shanty. I don't have a shanty. Go spear fishing. I'm just coming. That, you're just. <laughs> I'm. I'm going. Let's just. We're going. Caught. We're going ice fishing. It's fifty-five degrees. <laughs> Tomorrow's thirty-four, below, well, almost below freezing. Oh, I know we're all that below freezing temps forever. Negative thirty. It was like perfect, man. I'm, there was a bunch of people out. Yeah, getting that first ice. Yeah, people falling through. Were they? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. I believe it. Just wait a little bit, man. Like, yeah, we it's had that first ice. The first ice fish. Something about it. They just gotta go. People, people love it. Get get a good couple week consistency. Let that ice thicken up good. It just takes one little soft spot. <sighs> yeah, but. dude. Yeah, that won't be fun. I hope to God it never happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. To me and anyone I ever know. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, but anyways, all right. Well, hey, good to. Uh, Cheers to 2022. 23 is going to be good. Yep. We also want to thank you people. Yes. For for the, the most important and last. Uh, for those of you who continue to, to listen and download and... Uh, subscribe. Subscribe and, and listen to our show. We appreciate you. Thank you. Keep coming back. Share with your family and friends, coworkers. Um, we're, it's going to be a good year. Yes, sir. All right, man. Well, I'm <laughs> I'm Paul C. Quinn with EXP Realty. I'm Devin Carr with Gold Star Mortgage. <laughs> this is a Car and Sequin show. See ya. The primary purpose of this podcast series is to inform, entertain, and educate.
The information, opinions, and recommendations presented in this podcast series do not constitute legal or professional advice, opinions, or endorsements of any kind. Gold Star Mortgage Financial Group, NMLS 3446, Equal Housing Lender.